All right, so we all know robots are the future. We've looked at a couple on this channel. We saw a pet dog that sort of didn't really do anything. That wasn't the future. Then we also looked at a robot that taught us how to code. Now, today we're gonna be looking at what is supposedly gonna be your first ever robot friend. And it goes for 75 bucks. It's called the MIP. MIP. What kind of name is that? That doesn't sound friendly. MIP. So this is the MIP robot by Huawei. And apparently it has gesture control built into it. So if we open the package, it shows us a couple of cool features. Now, it balances itself. As you guys can see, it's only on two wheels. Apparently, you can balance objects in its hands, which is shown over here. You can also move it around with a controller with an app that we have already downloaded on iOS and on Google, which is good. And it reacts to your hand gestures. So we'll see how that goes. If you look on the side of the box, once again, it shows you available on App Store and Google Play. And then, of course, the back of it, Meet MIP, your new robot friend. Equipped with cutting edge gesture sense technology, MIP will respond to your hand gestures and go anywhere you want it to. Alternatively, change its mode and let it explore on its own. So it has like this sort of explore mode built in. So if you want to leave it roaming around your house, you can do that and then you can interact with it whenever you meet it. Cool feature. All right, here we go. Go. This is the MIP robot. Ooh. It does require four AAA batteries, which is a bit of a bummer. I would have liked to see a rechargeable battery inside of this that you plug in with a USB cable. All right, so before we get into it, if I just lift this up, you see that something falls out of it. It is the instruction manual is built into the bottom of it. You got the instruction manual. It shows you how to use each gesture control, also how to go through the app, which we're going to be exploring. So of course, just, this thing is so confusing. There's like two different ways to open it. This is the worst packaging in the world. All right, we're finally in to the MIP Wowie robot. Ooh. In terms of build quality, I mean, it's a dense plastic. This is, this is pretty good. I wonder if it balances without, it doesn't balance without any batteries in it. It also comes with a base plate, which we're gonna be checking out, and as well, another stand for the base plate. You just insert all four batteries into the back pack of the robot, you slide it back in, you screw it back in. All right, so here we go. Welcome to your MIP quick start guide. One thing you need to do, of course, is turn it on. Place MIP on its wheels. There we go. Place MIP on your on its wheels, and then if you want it to move forward, you put your hand on the back of it, or on the front of it. So I guess this is the front. All right, if you want it to do forward, you make it follow your hand. <laughs> MIP does use an app, and this is where it's functionality comes from so it's searching for a MIP there we go we are now activated and controlling the MIP general users manual let's go through this quickly see if there's anything important of course you install it you have a tray for it you have a display stand for it helps it stand when it's powered off and then here are the different functionalities so at the top of it microphone so you can talk to it, it has an IR sensor IR transmitter LED eyes it had posable arms tray slot for inserting a tray LED mode indicator, and of course it's wheels. And then the back of it is just, it's just there. So let's see if we can control this MIP without it falling off the table. So it tells us the functionality, you slide forward with your left thumb, you move left and right with your right thumb to control it. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. And then of course, if you wanna turn it, it's not bad. All right, let's see what other types of modes are there. because. This does interact with you. We're gonna be clicking this one right here. You can drive, you can have it maneuver around cans, you can have it dance. And of course, if you have more than one MIP, you can have them battle each other, which is a cool feature. We do not have another MIP, but we're gonna try to do the can ones. See how many containers it can carry. So. All right, here we go. It is now holding a tray, stay. There we go, it's now balancing. 
and you're supposed to be able to just place objects on top of it and it'll balance so you can put up to I think one pound worth of objects on him without it falling so we got another one we got of course the 100% bamboo mouse let's try something heavier let's try the unbox knife okay so as you guys can see it's kind of trying it's trying to adjust for the weight let's see how it handles this this is pretty heavy oh so it pushes it back do you see that so the center of gravity is still over the wheel that's what it's trying to do we're gonna try to mess that up so we're gonna put this here and we're gonna put this here not bad and you can still drive it let's try another thing yeah let's try something heavier so i'm gonna put this here and then now we're gonna test it that's not bad and you can still control it the ultimate balancing robot i mean it's not gonna be your friend it doesn't even interact with you all right, so for 75 bucks, the MIP robot, I mean, in terms of functionality, it doesn't really do anything. It just carries a bunch of items on a tray and it can wander around your house. It doesn't really interact with you. I thought it said this would be your newest friendly robot. That's what it said on the box. I'm disappointed. Like the other robots, they don't really do too much. 75 bucks, can't recommend it. No, no. Alright, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Let us know what you guys thought of the MIP robot or of any of the other robots that we have reviewed on this channel. Or if you have any other cool robots that you want us to review. And subscribe if you're new. We do videos every day.